Welcome to a new episode of Royally Rumbled. I'm Jordan. I'm Robert. And today, Robert, we are announcing the end of uh, Battle for the Crown. Yeah, and a new, new age for Royally Rumbled. So let's let's talk about this for a little bit, because uh, for six weeks, we basically did AEW versus NXT. Yeah, and it was fun. Um other than having having is the operative word having to watch four hours of wrestling and 24 hours to record on thursday to put out on friday yeah it was a lot um and it just didn't mesh well with our schedules the way we originally intended it to and the way that we thought it would no um Um, and you know i've never been a fan of watching wrestling with a notebook next to me (laughs) Um, so in just six short weeks, sucked the fun right out of, uh, watching wrestling. Yeah. And kind of in turn sucked the fun out of doing this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. We felt like at first with battle for the crown, uh, that we were going to stack each card up against one another and just put the matches head to head. But on, no week in those six weeks did either show have the same amount of matches yeah and plus aew like had to do more than just in-ring stuff they had to actually put segments over to establish their programming whereas on nxt most of those characters are just already established and they're just go out and have as much wrestling as we possibly can within this two hours. Yeah, I think NXT was having like eight matches a week or something like that. It was ridiculous. Yeah, the one the one week that NXT lost was because they had like eight matches on the card. And it was just a <laughs> it was lot. Just ridiculous. It was just a lot. Um in addition to all of that, uh wrestling Twitter, <laughs> which is where we put out most of our content. It had already gone, like, super tribal and deep-seated for which side they preferred, AEW or WWE. Um, And at first we thought that we would be, like, taking it by the horns, like that argument, and being like, well, we think it's this. Yeah. Um, But really it was just kind of adding to the... We didn't want it to add to the negativity that already exists. Oh, there's a lot of it. Um and it's exhausting on top of the all of the other exhaustion and remember i'm tired so (laughs) um it just it just became overwhelming and and too much so basically your boys really rumbled we're not going anywhere we're still going to be here we're still going to be putting out content it's just going to be a different kind of content so we decided that we're going to put out some interesting pieces of content and it's going to vary uh you're going to get several different types of shows from us from now on yeah we're gonna we're still going to do reviews but we're going to keep it to uh big stuff we're going to do nxt takeovers wwe pay-per-views and uh i was thinking occasionally the um maybe the go home show of a dynamite to go to a pay-per-view for for aew or even like a the fallout episode of like post right. pay-per-view. Right. Uh we're also going to do uh revisits as we are calling them. Uh I've never really watched WCW before and I've never watched TNA. So we had talked about maybe doing like a WCW TV slash pay-per-view revisit where we react and kind of review it or a TNA Impact TV slash pay-per-view from like 02, 03, 04 in that general vicinity. Um, And then maybe even doing like old WWF or WWE TVs or pay-per-views since we have the network and access to all of these different great hours and hours of wrestling, um, which also could include ECW as well. Yeah, throw ECW in there too, why not? Those crazy kids. <laughs> um, and then obviously, last year we put out our first, and to this point only, Legacy Spotlight Series episode, which was about Edge. 
Um, but we definitely want to continue that. So we're going to have a, a few of those coming your way. Um, yeah, a few guys that we kind of want to cover in the Legacy Spotlight series would be Batista, CM Punk, possibly a Jeff Hardy episode, a Kurt Angle episode even, because now he's done in the ring, and uh, maybe even Booker T. Yeah, there's a, there's a wealth of talent there that we could always talk about and discuss and discuss how their careers impacted us and it's our point of view on their careers. It's not like we're recapping their careers. We're talking about how they left an impression on us. So if you'd like to listen to the Edge episode to kind of get a feel for what we're going for, go right ahead. It's in the archive. And then that, that leads us to, uh, would this be the main event? Yeah, I'd say it's the main or, event. Or the, the, the coup it's of pro- the century here for us? It's probably the biggest content announcement that we're making today. A great friend of the show, Omega Luke. You may you may have heard of him. We've definitely talked about him before. Um, he has officially given us the green light Shout to out pick Pippa. up. <laughs> I was waiting for it <laughs> uh, to pick up where he left off in hosting a fantastic, fun, listener interactive fantasy booking league. That's right. Uh, we are taking over the fantasy booking league that Omega Luke has introduced and pioneered. And since we we figured we were the the longest reigning and the only champions, uh, we figured it was fitting to kind of take over and try to take the league to the next level. And you know, uh, if you're interested in taking part. I know our last episode had our fantasy booking match against Keefe. So if you are interested in taking part, please go ahead and reach out to us. Uh, we'll gather the names of the interested parties and come up with some fun uh, topics and stuff for everyone. So yeah, the the new home of fantasy booking for your listening pleasure will be royally rumbled. And who knows, we might even get Luke to do a fantasy booking of his own. That's true. The so-called king of fantasy booking might be returning for more wrestling content. Even though he's, like, sworn off of it. He's like, uh, he's like Terry Funk. With the, <laughs> with the retiring and then coming out of retirement. But, like, maybe retiring again. <laughs> I, he'll be back. He'll always be back. <laughs> So, yeah, if you have any questions at all uh, regarding fantasy booking or subjects for us, and and we're still going to be watching NXT and AEW, so, like, if you want our immediate reactions, go ahead, follow us on Twitter, drop us a line, at Royally Rumbled. Uh, I'm excited to, to take it in a slightly different direction than where we were, and, um, you know... Uh, a new fresh start again a new start (laughs) we should get that on a license plate (laughs) you know what if only there were some sort of imagery where we could fit all of those letters that phrase yeah because i mean license plates really hinder how many letters you could use (laughs) i'm sure we could figure a way to shorten it maybe i'll just tweet that out and put it as our (laughs) pin tweet and just see what kind of traction it gets just cold, no hashtag, nothing. Just anus. <laughs> I'm going to do that right now, actually. But yeah, and if you want to follow us individually to see uh, what our personal opinions are and not a podcast forward opinion, you could check me out on Twitter and Instagram at Yesball. And you could always find me on Twitter and Instagram at JL24FPS. And if you're into comic books, movies, TV shows, and you want to hear our opinions on those types of things, we have another podcast that you can follow and listen to called Pop Cannon. Don't forget that K because that's what makes us special. It's like what mom texts you when she's angry. So thank you for listening. Stay tuned. Uh, More bi-weekly episodes from Royally Rumbled coming very, very soon. For Royally Rumbled, I'm Jordan. I am Robert. 
and we'll see you again real soon. See ya around. <laughs> I wanted to pause as if I was spinning in the chair. <laughs> <laughs>